your girl Shan Strong and today is recipe day again. Now, if you guys have been watching my video, you would have known that lately I have been having uh, all kinds of cravings for Mexican food and recently made a video on a burrito bowl. If you ha guys haven't watched that video, you can check it out right here. So today I'm going to continue my Mexican craze and I'm going to make some homemade chili and as usual, it's going to be really easy, really tasty and really simple. So let's get to it. Okay, so first to start with what all you will need to make this dish. Today for protein, I will be using some chicken. Now, I know this chili dish is usually made with beef, but I'm using chicken because it's low in fat. And I'm using about one kilo of it because I'm uh, cooking in bulk. Uh, so I'm, I'm cooking in a larger quantity, but you guys can choose to use half of this. And uh, then the next thing I'm I'll be using is some canned tomatoes. But uh, you guys can also chop up some regular tomatoes if you like. But uh, you know me, I'm pretty lazy. So that's what I'm using today. And uh, then I have some red kidney beans. And uh, you'll need one cup of uh, water for this dish. Uh, then in a bit, I'm going to chop up some uh, two peppers and uh, some garlic about five or six pods. And then for flavoring, you will be needing one tablespoon of cumin powder, two tablespoons of paprika powder, and uh, some oregano for flavor. All right, so we got the gas running and I've got my pot on it. Please excuse it. It's been through a lot of grind. So what I'm gonna do is just put a little bit of olive oil, uh, about like one teaspoon of it. Don't worry, it's just a little bit of fat, it's okay. And when the oil is heated up, I'm going to add up my chopped garlic and my chopped peppers. If you're wondering what the green stuff is, I just added one more pepper. I thought it wasn't enough for my uh, quantity of chicken. There we go. All in. Alright, now I'm just going to add the spices. So here we have cumin. some paprika and some oregano now I'm just gonna add the chicken okay. there we go Then I'm just going to add my tomato. Okay. And the beans. Okay, and then I'm going to add my cup of water to it. And we're going to just, just let it simmer for about 20 minutes until the chicken is cooked for us. Okay, so it looks like it's almost done. It's been simmering for about 20 minutes now. And uh, I think it's ready to be placed on my plate. And there we go. Uh, I've topped it off with some uh, coriander leaves. And if you guys want, you can put some uh, cheese on it. Uh, but what I'm going to be using is some uh, low-fat yogurt. Uh, because I think it's just going to add a little bit of calories to that. So that's what I can fit. And I uh, hope you guys enjoy uh, this uh, video and hope you guys try this recipe out. And if you do, you guys are in for a treat. Stay strong.